Good morning everyone. This video lecture is based on the subject Computer System Architecture CS405 Module 1 based on the syllabus of Kerala Technical University. Here I deal with the topic Amdahl's Law. In this video, we discuss about what is Amdahl's Law and how it affects the speed and performance of the multi-programming environment. When we discuss about the parallel computers and the multiprogramming, all must aware about the Amdahl's law. Before going to Amdahl's law, I start with the term speed up. We all know about the term speed up, right? Speed up measures the increase in running time due to the parallelism. Based on the running time, we can say that S is equal to Ts divided by Tp. That means Ts is the execution time on the single processor using the sequential algorithm and the Tp is the execution time using the parallel processor and N is the number of processors. Consider an example. If a single processor finish a task within a time T, how much time do the two processors finish the same task? Obviously, 1 by 2, the half. And suppose one processor take 1 second for finishing one task. That means T1 is equal to 1 or Ts is equal to 1 seconds. And how much time N processor take finish the same task? It's 1 by N, right? So, time taken for the two processors should be 1 by 2. That means here n is equal to 2. So, we can say that tp is equal to 1 by 2 seconds, right? So, here the speed up is doubles. So, speed up means the time taken for one processor to complete a task divided by the time taken for n parallel processors to complete the same task. So, uh, we can achieve S is equal to 1 by 0 0.5 is equal to 2. If pay attention to this, we can easily say that the speed up doubles in this case. When the number of processors increases, the speed up also increases like this figure, right? So, we can say that the speed up is in the linear fashion. But in a real time, it is not possible because in real time, we have something called Amdahl's law. Look at this picture. This is the scenario uh, based on Amdahl's law. Uh, in which uh, the speed up is not linear. It's a non-linear manner. The Amdahl's law says that there are another factors which affect the speed up. These are the factors. First one is time taken for the sequential execution. Second one, time taken for the parallel execution. And third one is the number of processors. As you know, the programs are made up of different data structures, right? So, uh, when we talk about the serial part, uh, that is linked list, arrays and all, the traversal of the linked list arrays are serial manner, that is one after another. When we think about the uh, parallel part, we can perform the concurrent operations like graphs, trees and all. And that's slow say that, the speed up depends on how much percentage of the program is serial and how much percentage of the program is parallel. And uh, consider uh, the serial part B S and the parallel part B P. So, uh, what is the time taken to execute a task in a single processor? We can say that T1 is equal to S plus P, that is the sum of the part of uh, serial and part of parallel execution. So, we can say that T1 is equal to S plus P. This is the equation 1. And uh, time taken to execute a task in N processors uh, denoted as Tn. So, uh, we can say it as Tn is equal to S plus P divided by N. Okay. 
that means Tn is equal to T1 divided by N, right? So we can uh, write it as Tn is equal to S plus P, sum of the parallel part and uh, serial part divided by N. N means the number of processors. This is the equation 2. Assume that T1 is equal to 1 second. That means the time taken to execute a task in a processor uh, will be 1 second in this case. So, uh, the equation 1 uh, we can re, uh, rewritten as 1 is equal to S plus P. Okay. So, therefore, S is equal to 1 minus P. Substitute this equation 3 in the equation 2. So, we get Tn is equal to 1 minus P plus P by N. This is the total time required to finish a task by N processors which depends on the serial part of the program and also the parallel part of the program. This is called the Amdahl's law. According to Amdahl's law, the speed up will be the time taken for one processor to complete a task divided by the time taken for N parallel processor to compute the same task. So, speed up will be T1 divided by Tn. So, we can substitute uh, the equations of T1 and Tn here. So, we get 1 divided by 1 minus P plus 1 by N. I hope you understand the equation of the Andal's law and also the law behind it. Let's move to the examples of Andal's law. Look at this figure. We have 10 processors and uh, in first load uh, we give 60% uh, of program uh, in parallel part and 40% uh, of program in serial part. So uh, we substitute these values into the equation uh, of speed up. So we get 1 by 1 minus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 divided by 10. So, we get 2.17 as speed in the first case. In the second case, uh, when we increase the execution time of the parallel part is 80 percentage and uh, the serial part execution will be 20 percentage, we get the speed up is, is equal to 3.5. In the next case, we again increase the parallel part execution into 10 to 90 percentage and decrease the serial part execution into 10 percentage. We only get the speed up 5.26. So, processes cannot achieve 10 times of speed when we increase the uh, parallel part and serial part execution here. So, uh, in the next case, we increase the parallel part execution into 99 percentage. It's not possible in real case, but we assume the parallel part execution will be 99 percentage and serial part execution will be 1 percentage. So we get the speed up 9.17 only. If you look up this scenario, we can conclude that it cannot achieve 10 times speed using the 10 processors. This is the real scenario and only we can achieve up to 9 as speed. Hope you understand the scenario and situation about Amdahl's law and example. Thank you.